Hello everyone, my name is Danasa, I am your VFX instructor for this video and today we are going to learn how to do a hand going through energy field VFX as you can see in this video. For this tutorial, we are only covering the hand breaching through effect. The effect can be broken into several main steps. First, we are going to create the transition of the hand penetrating through the barrier. Second, we are going to add the swirly glowing energy effect. Third, we are going to use action VFX assets to add sparks and smokes to elevate the scene to a new level. Anyway, there are so many things to cover in this 20 minutes tutorial, so let's get started. So we're in a new composition in After Effects. First, before we do anything, we want to make sure we change the working space to linear. So we're going to change the depth into just 16 bits. We don't need 32 bits for this project. And then for the working space, change it to sRGB and linear working space. So that way, all the colors will have the correct, you know, color. And then uh, we have uh, my uh, astronaut plate here. Uh, it's basically uh, the plate that we're going to use. This is just a CG render uh, of this astronaut uh, royalty-free model that I bought. Um, it is an EXR render from Unreal Engine. So if we go to Extractor, I'm able to extract uh, the other layers that I rendered inside. So there is like just the lighting or just the background or just the uh, foreground and etc. So we're going to delete that. And then we have the barrier effect that we're going to use. Um, this is something that I made myself uh, using just, um, just fractal noise, fractal noise, and then turbulent noise. It's nothing too fancy. Uh, you can uh, make this yourself or if you want to use mine, you can just download the, my template. Okay, so first what we're going to do is, of course, we are going to isolate the, the, the character from the background. So we're going to duplicate it, and then we're going to put it on top of the barrier. And then if you're using a live action plate, you can uh, rotoscope your character or shoot it on a green screen. But if you're using a CG render like, like me, um, you can just uh, get the alpha of the character like I have shown you earlier. So let's bring back the extractor again, and then just bring the alpha and boom we have this so now the first step is done the character is now on top of the barrier and then what we're going to do is we are going to create the transition effect of the hand basically going through the barrier so how can you do that well uh if you're rendered uh, you're, if you're using a cg render you can use a depth pass or s some sort of that or uh, but if you're using live action you might want to just roto it uh, for this, I'm going to roto it. I'm not going to use any depth pass. I'm just going to roto it uh, just so I can show you the technique that I fig figured out. So to roto the hand, we are going to create a new solid. And we're going to name this hand mat. Okay, disable it. So now we are going to roto the hand uh, to simulate it going through the barrier. But the problem is you don't know which part of the hand is going to go out first, right? Well, like, is it the fingers, uh, the middle finger going first, or is it like the index finger going first? So it's very difficult to figure it out. Uh, if you're using a CG render like mine, uh, you can just easily use a depth pass. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to treat this as a live action because I'm going to show you how I figured out a trick to basically figure out the depth of the hand. So I use something that I called a witness shot. With the shot is basically just the shot of the same scene just from a different angle and like for example in here i i rendered the shot uh, from the side with a line basically representing the barrier so that way if we scrub this through we, we can figure out basically which part of the hand is coming out first so now that we have our witness shot we can use this as a reference for our roto so we're going to go to our hand mat and then we're going to begin rotoscoping based on the reference just to make sure it's all lined up so go here and then press m and mask path insert keyframe and then go through here and just start adjusting until all everything is lined up okay so now i have my roto here lined up to the witness shot so we are going to delete our witness shot because we don't need it anymore and then we are going to mat our astronaut plate into the hand mat. So uh, make sure it's below the hand mat and then alpha mat. Boom. 
now we have this okay so now what we're going to do is we are going to create the swirly like energy effects that wraps around the hand so to do that what we're going to do is we are going to duplicate our hand and roto duplicate and then the first one we are going to pre-comp it let's name it hand and then uh, for the second one uh, we are going to disable the track mat and then what we're going to do is we are actually going to swap the hand mat and the astro plate Zip. and disable this and enable the hand mat and then what we're going to do is we are going to track mat and turn on the alpha mat so now it's the hand mat that is basically track matting the astro plate instead of the other way around so we swapped it and then what we're going to do is we're going to go effects and search for stroke and put the stroke on the hand mat and then paint style we change it to on transparent and click all mask and then what we're going to do is we are going to increase the brush size so now we have this okay cool however the problem is it still it still looks two-dimensional it still looks like on just one side of the hand so we want to have the basically this white stuff here to just wrap around the hand so to do that what we're going to do is we are going to create another stroke so we're going to duplicate the hand mat and then just delete the mask so basically now what we're going to do is we are going to create a new mask and then just draw around it there we go and then we are going to animate it just like before okay so now we have this now what we're going to do next is we are also going to duplicate the astro plate so uh, duplicate i mean the astronaut plate sorry and then uh it's already automatically alpha matted but we don't want alpha mat we want alpha inverted so now it looks like it wraps around now the roto doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to add a lot of like fuzzy noise effect in it so it doesn't have to be perfect of course so anyway now what we're going to do is we are going to turn this white lines into super cool energy fuzzy effects so we're going to pre-comp all this the strokes so let's name this hand stroke actually just name it breach because that's the breach effects it's going to be and then what we're going to do is we are going to add a bunch of effects now there are a lot of effects that we are going to use so uh, what i did is I actually created a preset so if we go here and create a uh, type breach effects and we put the breach effect into this now we have all the effects and of course i'm going to go through every single one of them explain what they do so let's disable all of them first and then let's just disable everything except the hand and the breach so now we have this okay so first effect is fast box blur so it's basically just a blur uh, which is why uh, i said that um it doesn't have to be perfect uh, the stroke because it's going to be blurred anyway and then we add a fractal noise because uh, i want to add like a little bit of texture so it's not just white and that is um so it changed the fractal to smeary and then noise to spline and then there is a movement in the evolution and if we press e we're going to get our evolution here and it's basically just just an expression of time times 100 so again if you want to add an expression to an effect you just alt click on this stopwatch yeah let's undo that okay so and then we are going to get to turbulent displays so the turbulent displays basically add that little chaotic energy effect so and then you know to to make it like more alive because without the turbulent displays it's just a line but with turbulent displays now there is some stuff going on so the turbulent displays is basically uh, i used a bulge 
and then I put the amount to 200 and the size to 8 and then I also add an expression to the offset so if we go here turbulent displace offset so the expression is basically just means that the turbulent displace uh, the effect would move to the x-axis to the right at this rate which is time times 500 this just means the value is just is that 500 times the second that it is in so per second the value is uh, 500 here and then as it goes to the end it would uh, multiply 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 so that's why it's gonna keep moving to the right indefinitely and then we are going to go to tritone tritone is basically just adding color uh, I added like a little bit of green, a little bit of blue, a little bit of like reddish pink. And then I added wave warp. So wave warp is what makes it like a little bit less turbulent a little, and a little more like noisy, like a TV noise. And basically I didn't do a anything much here. And uh, it's it's almost basically, yep, it's, I just basically just changed the wave type to noise instead of sign so yeah it's not that different from the original and then we are going to go to the brightness what i did is i just enhanced the brightness of course and then we are going to go to the fast box blur so i blurred it again so it's not too sharp and then i added curve so the curve is basically i just enhanced the uh the highlight and uh the midtones Basically, I just wanted to make it super bright. And then after that, I added glow to create that glowy effect. So the, those are the bridge effects, all of them. So if we play, does this. So that's all the effects. And we are going to change the transform to add and then turn on everything again and there we go so if we don't have the add it's not as cool but if we add give the add it would just add more of that you know hotspot okay so now we are going to add the other effects so first what we're going to do is we are going to change the barrier to additive and then uh, maybe turn down the opacity to around 50 and then turn it into a 3D layer, so toggle switch, 3D. And then we're going to rotate it so it matches the perspective. Okay, so now let's start adding all the other stuff. First, what we're going to do is we are going to create a new null. So this null is basically just going to be the tracker. It's going to track around this area. So let's bring the position and keep at keyframe and then start animating. Okay, so now we have the null following the hand. So now we can patent elements into the null and it will follow the hand. Okay, so we're going to start adding some stuff. So we're going to go to project and we, we are going to get our action VFX assets. So for the assets, I have this four, like these three are sparks. So if we go here. There's this one, and then there's this one, and then there is this one, and then there is this energy burst. Okay, so we're going to add all of these four into the comp, and then we're basically going to start uh, positioning it and retiming it. For example, this energy burst, I want it to be uh, around the beginning of when the hand starts breaching so it's kind of like the the smoke is uh wait that's not smoke this is smoke the smoke is kind of like breaking uh, the result of the barrier tensions breaking so we're going to rotate it there we go and just position it and then also the other i'm going to position it also and retime it Okay, so I have repositioned everything and then moved the time around. And basically what's happening here is when the hand started uh, breaking the barrier, I added this spark burst explosion to indicate that an energy bursting from the barrier. 
and then there's the leftover smoke using the energy burst side and then i also added like this constant like spark burning as the result of this blue energy basically burning the hand so yeah um, i added glow into the spark burst and then i also turned everything into additive with the exception of the smoke the uh, energy burst type i also added some a little bit of blur there to make it less sharp and then for the side fuse here uh if we solo it uh basically um i removed the bottom part and then i also uh removed some part here. There, there was a like a flash of fire going out this way i had to remove it so if we none none there's that fire that i removed so subtract subtract and then yeah same with uh this one i also roto it to make the edge a bit smoother and now what we're going to do is we are going to pre-comp uh these two so these two they are the ones that are following the null because they are constant whereas the burst and the energy is just like a one-time thing so it doesn't follow the null so so for the these two sparks i'm going to pre-comp it let's name it spark pre-comp And now the color changes because the blending mode changes. So we're going to change it back into additive and then re-parent to the null. Then what we're going to do is we are going to add glow. So I'm going to copy the glow from the spark burst and the fast blur. Copy it and bring it here. There we go. So now everything looks cooler. Maybe I'm going to move that. So now what we're going to do is we are going to duplicate the hand. And then we are going to use the hand as an alpha mat. So the these two is uh so the spark is below the hand. So we're going to alpha invert it. There we go. And now maybe we want to blur it a bit because it's too sharp there at the edge. So we're going to look for fast blur again. And let's put like 15. There we go maybe like too much maybe eight okay boom okay so this is a hand breaching through barrier effects in after effects as you can see um i have tweaked and added some stuff for example uh the barrier i lowered the opacity a little bit and also pre-comp it uh, because the reason i pre-comp it because inside the pre-comp i added some stuff for example i added a bulge effect here uh, and then I, I also copied the uh, null object from before so now the bulge is following the null and then uh, so that I added a wave uh, warp to make it a bit more swirly and then I also add a bit of a glow so now when we go back to the main comp around the hand you have this uh, displacement effect and then also uh, on the hand as you can see I added a bit of a light trail so this is the light trail so if we disable enable inside the light trail is a chromatic aberration effect and that way I can uh, I use that uh, chromatic aberration uh, to create a trail using light burst CC light burst so CC light burst is basically just smearing all the edges into the side and then I use turbulent displace to break up the uh, to break up the uh, like burst a little bit so it's not too straight and then I also use curve to basically enhance the lighting and then also a, a little bit of blur and yeah so that's what I'm covering in this tutorial of course you can add even more stuff for example on my final render I actually added uh, the this uh, lens flare effect from action VFX and then I also add uh, some fog also from Action VFX on the behind there. And then I also scale up the scene to make it more focused to the character. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope this tutorial is helpful. If you have any questions, of course, I will try my best to answer. And also super special thanks to Action VFX for providing the assets for this tutorial and also for having me as an instructor for this video. This is extremely fun and yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.